Welcome back to Ask Allison. Here is today's question. I had a difficult experience with my last agency, which then kind of followed me to the group I'm with now. I've read a lot of your posts and seen your videos about burnout, and I don't know where to go next. I'd love to start my private practice, but I'm having a hard time feeling excited about something new. Before I answer, I want to thank our sponsor. Thank you to Therapy Notes. They are the number one rated electronic health record system available today with live telephone support seven days a week. It's clear why trust where Therapy Notes is rated 4.9 out of five stars on Trustpilot and has a five-star rating on Google. Therapy Notes makes billing, scheduling, note-taking, and telehealth incredibly easy. They even have e-prescribed for you prescribers out there. If you're coming from another EHR, Therapy Notes makes the transition incredibly easy, importing your demographic data free of charge so that you can get going right away. Find out what more than 100,000 mental health professionals already know. Use promo code ABUNDANT at Therapy Notes for two free months. So here is the tough part about private practice. I absolutely truly believe that private practice is the absolute best possible situation to prevent burnout but the path to get there can exacerbate burnout. There's a lot that needs to be done and without motivation to get it done, there are more opportunities to beat yourself up and to feel like you're failing. So we have this tendency to blame burnout on work and it is the primary culprit most of the time, but I want you to look at what in your non-work life might be contributing or potentially primary. It's really rare for life to be chill when work is hellish. I bring that up because sometimes there are systems that you can put into life to clear some time and some emotional space. If we're having a conversation, I would ask you what's working for you in the group right now. Um, it's a temporary situation. If private practice is your goal, can you find some healing there? Um, I'm not sure if the difficult situation you mentioned means it's toxic there or if your burnout followed you or what. Um, but you can take a breather there for a while and do some meaningful work at your job. You can show up, therapize, leave, and um, that might be the better situation for you right now than adding more stress to the mix. Um, if you have the financial resources, taking some time off work um, or doing different, less emotionally charged work and just slowly building your practice as you feel inspired may be the best possible thing. But I know most of us require the money that we bring in for work and don't necessarily have that luxury. When I have felt burned out, some things that have helped me are only working with the clients I do my absolute best work with. Um, this may be possible in a group practice. It may not. It's worth asking. Uh, remembering why I became a therapist and staying really rooted in that as a motivator. Creating systems that work um, at work but also in life too. Um, I share some of mine. We have a course called the Private Practice Life Balance Course in the Abundance Party. And I share some of the systems I created in my non-work life um, that were kind of based off systems I already had working in my work life. I sleep more. I do more exercise that I enjoy, not the punishing kind of exercise. That's just more stress, which you probably don't need. Um, hobbies, which I've been fairly new to the last couple of years. Um, and then when I can, saying no to anything that isn't pleasurable. Uh, often when we're burned out, it's a problem between the ratio of balance and pleasure. So, and if the word pleasure feels like, well, what, what's that? I don't even know it's pleasurable anymore. That's a sign that you are burned out or heading there. I mentioned the private practice life balance course in the party. Um, that's my most personal course for sure. It's like the reason that I do private practice consulting is because I've seen too many great therapists leave the profession. Um, burnout festers. It is possible in private practice too to, to get burnout, but you have so much more control over basically everything like your business, when and how you work, your systems. So the you can leverage the fact that you're controlling all of that by building in things that prevent burnout. So very long story short, if you're climbing your way out of burnout right now, private practice can be great to hasten that climb. Um, if you're circling the drain, it makes me nervous to encourage you to take this route right now, um, unless you have the financial and emotional resources to support yourself for a while. 
Um, and I know some jobs make it impossible to heal and drastic measures sometimes have to be taken and that can be a really rough spot to be in. So I'm, I'm hoping slash assuming that this group practice that you're in is a healthier one. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure if I've answered your question. Uh, I hope that I've given you some things to think about and possibly implement. If you want to go deeper, the Private Practice Life Balance course is a great resource for that. You can get that at in the Abundance Party. And yeah, I, I have seen so many therapists, way more therapists post-pandemic than pre-pandemic struggling with burnout. I think that a lot of us just gave and gave and gave um, and got to such a level of depletion that it's been really hard to get back to providing therapy with the freedom emotionally that we did before. And I hope that you find that again. All right, I will talk to you all later. If you have any questions for Ask Allison, you can hit the link in my bio. It'll take you to a page where you can enter them. Have a great day.